You have the loot. Loot crate, that is. Hello, everybody. Several total four for this month's loot crate, the month of April. Uh, this month's theme is uh, artifacts. <laughs> I knew it. I, I, I can remember things sometimes. Don't worry, guys. I can remember things. Uh, so yeah, this month's theme is artifacts, and there is supposed to be some nice stuff in it. So let's just adjust that camera a little bit because you're seeing the box. It's not. You're not here for me. You're here for the box. Um, so yeah, cut that open and do 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 uh, the box itself is like a gauntlet, um, Infinity Gauntlet. I wonder why. It's almost like if Infinity Wars is out tonight. Um, anyway, as always, let's start with the shirt. Uh, this is an Infinity War shirt. Uh, it's an adorable little Thanos. I was about to say Ganon. I've been editing my Wind Waker Let's Play. Uh, it's an adorable little Thanos sitting on his throne, surrounded by skulls with his nice little Infinity Gauntlet there. Um... It's a pretty cute shirt. I like it. <laughs> it's a nice sized picture also. For a second, I thought it was snowing outside, but that's just like cherry blossoms or something. Or bugs. No, <laughs> I don't know. It's clear out. Anyway, uh, the next thing we have over here is from Lord of the Rings. It's a little Frodo Baggins uh, figure. Um, yeah, made by artists of film, mini epics, meta wor weta workshop, excuse me. Um, so the yeah, could they have um, focus? Uh, Gimli, Moria, Orc, Frodo, Gollum, Orkai, Berserker. So we got ourselves a little Frodo, Mr. Frodo, Mr. Frodo. I love the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, I also love the books. How many of you guys th that have seen the movie have have read the books? Uh, either The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. Or, you know what? If you've read The Silmarillion, let me know too. Because I feel like I'm one of, like, five people in the world that actually read The Silmarillion. But, uh, yeah. See this? This is like a stand. Stando! Uh... New mini epics coming soon. Galadriel and Sam. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, it's a cute little thing. Looks slightly like Elijah Wood. <laughs> uh, it's got Sting over here. Uh, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's, it's a cute figure. Uh, next up, we have the Dark Crystal. Six note set of six note cards with envelopes. So that exists. My camera is having a lot of trouble focusing. I guess it's trying to stay on my face while also focusing whatever I'm shoving in its face. Does this open? I have to open it. I don't think I'm going to be mailing anybody anything with these uh, dark crystal envelopes. But, uh, smell funky. Um, it's like little, little greeting cards. Well, that's yeah, that's what it said. It's like the stuff you send people to thank them for a gift or something. Um, the pictures are pretty fantastic. Have you guys seen The Dark Crystal? There's a question for you. Uh, I saw it when I was a kid. I was a mixture of amazed and freaked out by the different types of uh, puppetry. I guess it wasn't as frightening sometimes as... Um, as uh, Return to Oz though uh, and on the back also it has like descriptions of what the picture is so there's that, there's crystal shards uh, Furka, rejuvenation chart of the Skeksis great conjunction chart cosmology charts and Thra map fragment so yay the Gelflings and the Skeksis it was a very interesting film very artistic um, okay, next up, have from Legend of Zelda a map of Hyrule. It's like, you can hardly see that. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Question is, which Hyrule? Um, so here's the map. This is Ocarina of Time, question mark. 
No, no, it's not. This is a conglomerate, it seems, because... Stop it. Because we got the floating city up over there. We got the Deku tree over here. Um, Hyrule Castle. Got Death Mountain. Or, I should say, uh, not Death Mountain. We got Valu uh, in the center of the map there on uh, Dragon uh, Roost. Um, looking through the back of this. So we have the mummies over here. The Deku Swamp. Death Mountain at the top there. So, Kakariko Village. Um, Arbiter's Grounds, I think, are right up over here. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I admire the artist that tried to put all that stuff together in one spot. Let's see, what does it say anything about it? Or, no, just official Nintendo product, alright. Um, last, last up we have the pin, which is a little goblet here. Come on, there we go. It's nice to have a camera that does actually focus for once. I didn't have my webcam last time. I used my laptop, so. Uh, anyway, got the little loot, uh, crate paper. Artifacts, April 2018. You've heard the stories. They come from distant lands and strange worlds. Powerful objects forged by, forged by ancient creatures capable of aiding you in your quest, should you use them wisely. Uncover these artifacts and find your destiny. So we got the Lord of the Rings, uh, Weta Mini Epics Frodo with Sting. The One Ring may be powerful, but when it comes to awesome Lord of the Rings artifacts, we definitely prefer Frodo's sword, Sting, which glows blue whenever orcs are around. Uh, licensed by New Line Cinema, made by What a Workshop. Exclusive Jobot, J-O-3-B-O-T, Thanos t-shirt. The Mad Titan Thanos reclines in his terrifying throne, having completed his latest do-it-yourself object, uh, a project, collecting the fabled Infinity Stones and conquering the Marvel Universe on this stylish tee with art by Jobot, made by Loot Crate. Exclusive Dark Crystal Note Cards, Another World, Another Time, in an Age of Wonders. This set of six note cards features iconic artifacts and characters in the world of Dark Crystal, licensed from the Jim Henson Company. Legend of Zelda Hyrule Map, uh, Link is great and all, but now you can explore the Kingdom of Hyrule and Termina yourself with this map, Epona not included. Licensed from Nintendo, made by Pyramid America. And the Loot Crate Chalice Pin. Some chalices contain artifacts, ancient and untold powers. And we're pretty sure this one does too. We just haven't figured out how to unlock it yet. And on the back here, uh, it talks about the Mega Crate that you can get. Uh, had some God of War stuff and a set of the, uh, the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings books. So that was pretty neat. He-Man. A nice little Thanos figure. Uh, so... Th I guess the inside of the crate here, you know, folds out to be a boxed glove. And as you can see by the bottom, um, it opens up so you can stick your fist in and have a do-it-yourself glove. Yeah, instructions, unfold the box, lay flat. Oh, cut along all the dotted lines and push the circles out. Uh-huh, close the box. Fold the handle in half and... Yep, so you make yourself an Infinity Gauntlet. That's neat. Uh, but anyway, that is it for the Loot Crate. Next month's theme is Role Models. Um, featuring Deadpool, Archer, The Punisher, Marvel, and Arrested Development. Some good role models there. <laughs> the best of role models, really. Um, so yeah, thank you all very much for watching. There's been several to before with Loot Crate if you want to get in on it. As always, there is a link in the description. You can follow a referral link, and if you go through there, you save some money, and I save some money, and everybody wins. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Also, if you're wondering where Loot Anime is, they keep running into, um, some sort of, uh, shipping delays with some of the items that they're trying to get so they ran into like two or three already so far so it's still gonna be a while bye bye